Yes, what about North Melbourne and Collingwood? We've spoken about Brent Harvey. Collingwood, unbelievable. Um, North Melbourne, where are they at? How's my voice? Hey, your voice is going about yep. as well as the Kangaroos, Gary. They're both shot. Uh, how disappointing on the weekend. It was Penelbury that got them going again for Collingwood. It'd almost be Brownlow favourite at the moment, such as a rich vein of form. 39 possessions, 6 clearances, 16 contested, 7 marks. He's become an elite player. Look at the thing at the clearances, Tom. I was at the game and watched it all. He's on the move. He, he doesn't stand there. He gets on the move. And uh, he's very hard to tackle. He's fluid. That's the thing I like about it. And it sets up so much other footy. Can they keep it up, Gary? That's the big burning question. I mean, to be so good this far out, can they maintain this sort of form? It is, we're all looking forward to seeing them play some strong opposition. Because, <laughs> no, well, they haven't really played. They've played... Oh, I thought I was Gary, but anyway. <laughs> they've played Port... Well, I'm looking after you, Dull. They've played Port Adelaide and they've played North Melbourne, who were not on top of their game. No, that's a reasonable... But they've had no real opposition yet. I, I think I might have been you that said this on the weekend. I can't remember if it was you or not. Forgive me if it was. Chris Tarrant's the only player who's peaked. In that team. It was me. In fact, yeah. I think they've got a big upside. I agree with you. They've got a massive upside. And no one I think else has peaked. The reason they can keep it up, Tomo, is they're because they're so well organised. And it's in mm. stark contrast to the Kangaroos on the weekend. These are just a couple of little things I've picked up. I picked up. You could go all day with these things. Todd Goldstein playing centre forward at the start of the second quarter goes charging into the centre bounce. Now, what Todd Goldstein's going to do on the centre bounce, I don't know. They win the all-important important centre clearance. Parents unmanned at centre half forward. It, it's not giving them a fair go. And you compare it to this bit of vision which uh, Collingwood were able to put together, and this is just indicative of the way they play. Uh, he's sure kicking from full back. Um, the way they set up and the way they understand what each of them are doing, long down the line, strong contest. Look at the blokes lining up. It's Thomas, it's Pendlebury, it's Blair. All front and square. And the way, there's, I mean, other teams aren't able to do this against Collingwood. There's a spoil down there. Away they go, balls up the other end, and inevitably they get another score. They are organised, they are disciplined, they know exactly what each other are doing at any given time during the game and I didn't get that impression from the North Melbourne boys at all. So what's their kryptonite? What's going to sort of turn them inside out? Well, we talked about that Port a lot too. Port did kick seven out of eight goals against them in round one. Well, I think that's the only area I'll be... You could perhaps put Make a forward line, forward line in that might be able to score against them, Tomo. And look, and that's a that's a that's wishful thinking, I think, at the moment because they just look the premium. It's the repeat inside fifties that kill teams, isn't it? Yeah, well, they got. I mean, Swan and uh, Pendlebury were just going possession for possession. No, yeah, uh, some amazing stats about their last quarter of scoring, uh, last bit of uh, red time scoring against opposition sides too, which is very interesting. Which seems to be vindicating their five or six years of uh, altitude right, yeah, training. Absolutely. Just quick. Clear what won't be their kryptonite, and I, I think you misread or you read something into Dale Thomas's comments last week that he was looking like leaving. There's no way he'll leave Collingwood. He'll he'll make a he'll make a decision and re-sign in the next few weeks, as will Pendlebury, which is great news for them. Okay. And why would you go anywhere? Well, not on the back of what the Gold Coast served up <laughs> in their first game. The altitude training is interesting. That'll come into a lot of uh, discussions in the coming uh, weeks. I reckon whether other teams can get it going.